Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just finished up another one of my trucks. So this one was uh, that white pickup I had. The last video, um, I'm pretty sure it was in the last video I showed it. It was in my update. This is that same truck. I wanted the wheels off of it for another project. So I used some dolly wheels I had, I've had for a couple years. These wheels have been on a couple different trucks now. It's just, uh, they just kept falling off and stuff. So never put them back on. So now I've, they're on this truck. I think it looks real good. I know the wheels aren't fully centered. Like this one's uh, farther forward. All I gotta do is I'll uh, fix it. The wheels aren't sitting straight on the axle, so I just gotta slide it back a little, uh, like fix it, fix it on the axle, so it slides, so I can slide it back a little bit more. But um, that's really it for the axle. I just finished it up too, so it's not 100% dry. Um, I got a bug shield. On it. Why is it pulling now? It's got a bug shield. Uh, still has the brush guard on it. Um, put a visor on it. Just an extra visor I had. I painted it white. Glued it on. This is off of a Dodge I just got. Um, I had to do a little bit of trimming on the headache rack. I sanded, I sanded on the bottom. I, uh, I made it a little shorter. And that's it for the... Actually, no. I added... Right here, I added an extra little light. On both sides. Um, that's it for the bed. Now, the cab... Uh, same thing as before. The interior is still gray. Uh, the seat, the interior kind of came up a little bit. I gotta fix this, but it's, it for now is fine. Um, I got a kind of. I tried to do a drive shaft here. It's, uh, not the best. But I've never tried to put one on a truck yet. Uh, looks pretty good for my first one. I got an exhaust. Put an exhaust back here. Made an extra little exhaust. Little extra uh, exhaust here. Glued it on. The exhaust still is a little wobbly. It's not fully dry. Um, I still gotta finish my exhaust system. Going through, we're gonna bend some wire to come out the back of it, the uh, tip over the axle up to the engine bay. I still gotta do that and add some mirrors to it. I made some, I made some mirrors for it. Uh, I just can't find one of them. I have the right one. I just can't find the left one. Once I do that, once I find the left one, I'll glue them on. Uh, i probably going to redo the hitch so I can have a point of drop hitch kind of so the trailers don't drag on the back, drag the back of the trailers on the ground and stuff. But, yeah. Also, the wheels don't really spin. The front wheels did spin, but I had to redo it. Uh, I redid the whole front end. The windshield got messed up, so I had to take the cab apart, get to the to replace the windshield um so now that my front wheels don't spin uh and also the front wheels aren't fully dry i had to glue them onto the axle because it didn't fit right but i'm gonna try to fix fix the wheel spinning hopefully i can get them to spin but if they don't that's fine i gotta add a gooseneck hitch and this truck be fully done 
Now, I'm not sure if I showed this one yet. It's another flatbed. Um, this one, so 72 F250. Uh, doors open, hood open. Come on. Doors are being tight right now. No, I'll just show this off. Uh, doors open. These are Chevy mirrors from an extra, extra Chevy I had. I glued them on here. Um, I only use the stock lift from it for my new wheels and tires. And this one rolls up perfectly fine. Um, again, it's also a little high, but it's not as bad as the other one. But yeah, I like both of these trucks. These are probably my two favorite, um, I guess, flatbeds. Ford flap as I got. Um, I have a couple more projects on the way. Once they're done, I'll do another video on them. Uh, okay. That should be it. Okay. Oops. See you guys next time.